Bella Campanile. I prefer to be called Bella. I am a junior at Ursuline College. So I am going into my third year. I am from Canada, so I am going to embark on a long journey all the way back to Ohio. I am a law business major minor. I play on Ursuline's soccer team, and I also work in the Ursuline's admission department as an Ursuline guiding arrow. So I take people on tours and show them around campus and help them with whatever they need at their, when they're staying at Ursuline. So yeah, um, here's my journey of how I got back to school, I guess. All right, so now I'm just packing my car and these are all my bags that I'm putting on in the car, sorry. Um, half of my stuff is already on campus just because I have a storage room there. So I have all this other stuff like a mini fridge and storage space that goes under my bed, hangers and everything like that, pillows, memory foam mattresses. I can give you the whole list later. All right, car's all packed, everything's in the trunk. And then I have my purse and everything in the front. Passport's already in there and my documentation in order for me to go over the border safely. <laughs> All right, so I'm on the Peace Bridge right now, still on the Canadian side. I'm about to cross over towards the US. I gotta get my passport and my documentation ready. If you were an international student, you need a visa. In this case, I need an F1 visa or an I-20 visa, also called interchangeably. Um, with that, it means basically that I can live in the US as a student and come back and still be able to go back to school when needed. Obviously, it expires in four years. Mine has, has two years left, but for a freshman, it's all four years. So it's just useful to have, it's easy to have. It goes into your passport. So as a Canadian, I'm also considered a US citizen just for school. So when I get to the border, I answer a bunch of questions. How long are you gonna stay? How long do you plan on staying? And stuff like that, just the normal things. If I'm declaring anything, when will I be back? when do I finish school things like that so that's kind of like what's gonna go on I have everything in my little Kate Spade bag with my teddy bear right there um, embarrassing sorry <laughs> and yeah so let's see how it goes all right we crossed the border now let's head to Ohio <laughs> So we made it to Ursuline College and I have some chauffeurs oh. over here about to pack up my car so I can go to my dorm room. Yeah. This is my dorm room. I have everything in here from my school calendar to my soccer clothes to laundry detergent to a fan because a fan is so important. My fridge is still downstairs. I have my teddy bear, blanket sheets and a whole bunch of clothes because who can live without clothes, right? I am so thankful that I'm here for preseason and I get to move in ahead of everyone else because Holy, I have a lot of stuff because, oh my gosh, look at this. I have not unpacked. And there's more, like help me. And here's my side. I have everything packed up and organized in my closet from shower stuff to perfumes and everything like that to here from soccer stuff and extras as long as all, along with all my clothes and everything like that and then I have this in the front.
with my best friends, families, and the little cats. Thanks so much for following me throughout my move-in process. If you have any other questions about the move-in process or any other questions about Ursuline College itself, you can contact your admission counselor or you can comment down below.